Hey yo, what's up, Squirrel? And welcome back to another Dauntless Build Studio. So for today, I'll be showing you this new uh, Terra Warpike build. I'm gonna be using the Kerbic Bond for this build and also some shields and some other stuff too. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the build. For the Omnisol, we got the Revenant Omnisol. We're not gonna be using the Ice Warner Omnisol because uh, this is not kind of like a beginner or, or mid tier kind of build. Uh, for the weapon, I went with the Pursuit Curse, which is the Terra's legendary weapon, which has plus three plate storm and plus three pulse sauce on it. Special is gonna be the Concussive Payload, mod is gonna be the Balanced Spearhead, and the Bond is gonna be the Kerbex Sting, which has plus three blade storm on it. Uh, next up, the Lantern is gonna be this Cars Defiance with plus three Catalyst. For the Helmet, I went with the Dark Watch with plus three Overpower. Uh, next up, for the Torso, I went with the Thrack Shadow with plus three pulse. Uh, for the Gauntlets, I went with the Togodon Spawn with plus three Berserker. And and lastly, legs are gonna be the time leggings with plus three berserker. So yeah, that was the build. Because we are using the catalyst cell in this build, we are also gonna be using the potions for this build. So basically, we're gonna be using the frenzy, blist, and assault tonics. So yeah, that was the full build. And now for the fashion side of the build, for the weapon, I went with the the superconductor, which is a really cool transmog. I really like it a lot. Uh, next up, for the lantern, I went with the Drake Eye. For the helmet, it's gonna be the seismic head mask. Uh, torso is the discipline. Uh, next up, for the gauntlets, I went with the infil infiltrator's gloves. And last but not least, legs are gonna be the determination. So yeah, that was the build and the fashion side of the build. And now for cells, we got the cells right here. But before we get right into cells and what it sells to you, make sure it's optional and like the video and hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss out on any, on any more future uploads. So yeah, now for cells, we got the plus X Berserker, plus X Bladestorm, plus X Catalyst, plus X Cunning, plus X Overpower, and plus X Pulse. So yeah, that was the full build, and now for test, we're gonna go into some kind of hunt rounds and test uh, this build out. For example, let's go to the... Um, we are currently on... What level are we? We are on level 4 on the Warpike, so... We're gonna go to the... Brightful of Quandro Rocks. I don't know. Hmm, let's see. I mean, I like Brightwood's Behemoth more, but I haven't been in the Corner, corner Rocks for a long time. So we're gonna go to the Corner Rocks, which is level 11 Hunt Grounds. And, this has, and as I said, we are currently on level 4 on the Warpike. Uh, for the Behemoth we're gonna encounter, we are gonna encounter the Velamir, the Lydron Boreas, Firebrand Shirog, Moonweaver Shrike, and the Royal Nashur. And of course, the guaranteed Behemoth for this island is Velamir. And common regions are Slayer's Boom and Omnistone, and the real regions are Redford and Phoenix Opal. And here we are in the Crown Rocks, and let's see what kind of behemoth we got. We got the level 13 Velamir, level 10 Shrike, and level 13 Nashor for us today. Okay, for before every fight, of course, we're gonna go and get our tonics. I mean, every time. So yeah, we are here in the beautiful of the corner rocks so which is the like an older brother to the paradox breaks let's see if we can interrupt it here nice there we go i mean we got hit right there but i mean we take those we take those a lot okay let's go and maybe break oh there we go nice we wounded the part so yeah this build is not particularly like a wounded wounding kind of build but i guess if you want that type of build i guess if you want that type of build i'm gonna you can comment down below and I'll make them uh, in the future. So yeah, let's use the here. Why not? Do some damage here. What I would saw this way and shoot the missile here. Bro, what? What happened? I missed that? Nah, surely not. Surely not. Dude, nice, there we go. But we got down, but that's quite because with the legendary ability of the terror, we can, res we can resurrect back. Like so. Which is pretty OP in my opinion, but I guess that's that. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I really like the legendary ability of the terror weapons. I think they are the best legendary ability in the game. Well, I think, uh, I don't know, Revenant, not the Revenant, the Radiant uh, legendary, legendary ability is almost the same as the terror one. We, it's like basically you rewind back time and when you die you can rewind back time and like revive, revive yourself. So yeah, that was the, how much, what level was that? Level 10 Shrike, yeah. And we are here now for the level 13 Wastel Nashor. I mean, we still got our tonics left, so we're not gonna use that. I mean, we can't really use that. As a matter of fact, dodge this. Bro, I swear, dodge the... In what's called the dodge button. Bro, damn, okay. Okay, Nashor. And I didn't use my ability, okay. But it's okay, because we got a lot of them. Apart from the Rivals teams, we got legendary ability of the terror weapons. Okay, let's see here. Let's break some parts or not. <laughs> let's 
firstly won't depart and then we're gonna break it which is I think okay let's come on give me interrupt oh no bro come on I want to do it there damn okay <laughs> nice mid air Sager I don't that <laughs> okay okay we're currently out of stamina so that's really bad well Jai now thinking about it you can also use like a stamina tonic in this build too because while using Revenant, you use Ultimate Stamina. Oh, nice part break there, nice. Uh, see, as I, as I was saying, uh, while using uh, the Warp Pike, when you do damage, you basically use your heavy attacks more th than the light attacks. So you can use the <laughs> nice again part break. You can use like um, Stamina Potion if you don't have like the maybe Bliss Tonics or the, the what's called the Stagger Tonics, but. If it uh, was for me, I would probably change the Assault Tonic, not the Assault Tonic is called? Yeah, it's the Assault Tonic, which is the Stagger one, instead of the Frenzy or the Bliss Tonics, which are the damage and the attack speed, uh, what's called? Well, mm, potions, yeah. Okay, that was level 13 Nasher, which was quite easy in my opinion, and, we, and uh, we are now, I mean, here we are with level 10 Cherok, which just spawned in. And end up in another behemoth spawned, which is level 12. Uh, what's called? What's called? It's the. What's called? Boreas, yeah, yeah. But it's the radiant version of the Boreas. Okay, let's use Revenant here because it's currently down and isn't, it, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Bro, I'm missing my life tech combos, man. Come on. There we go. Double wounding, I think. I think. And let's gonna go into rage mode, which we. Ooh, nice. Okay. I totally thought that we're gonna get hit right there, but I guess not. And let's use another one of our ammos or missiles. Okay, here we are with the Cherog. Dodge this. Bro, I pressed the dodge button again, but didn't connect. Nice. This time it did, but I guess. Okay. Whatever, whatever. Let's use Rowan here. Maybe it's gonna do something. Yep, there we go. Nice. Very cool, very cool, very cool, very nice. Dodge this. Nice. Again, nice. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have I said nice in this video? A lot of times, but we do not care. Okay, there we go. Another part break. There we go, nice. We are currently out of stamina, so we need to not use the heavy attacks. And there we go. I mean, pretty easy fight. It only took like, a, I think, a minute of the time. Okay, now we're gonna go do the level 12 Boreas. And I know I've been like, uh, not going to level 13 Velomer, but... I mean, it has a lot of health, and I don't really want to do that right now. But if we kill this uh, Boreas pretty easily, we can like go and do the what's called Velimir. And level 13 Cherg spawned, but we're not gonna do Cherg again because we always did Cherg. So we cannot kill the Velimir, maybe. Oh, and I completely forgot how annoying this Behemoth was. For Land Band Boreas, you wanna. Uh, dodge the charges and the spinning attacks like that, which I mean, like yeah, I wanted to say that for that attack, and also it does the what's it's, it's like uh, goes up in the air and jumps back down. Not that uh, I think we're gonna do it now or not. Yep, he's doing this again. Okay, not again. So with this uh, move, you wanna interrupt that like so with Revenant, or you can like maybe break the. Uh, the shield, but uh, the Revenant way is much more easier to do, so If you have the Revenant, do that Okay, there we go, pretty good damage we're doing to the Boreas here And Bro, you You little shit, come here Come here And you, and you, and you, and both of you Bro, really, really I want to kill the... What? Bro, what? I teleported? And Dodge this, nice Okay, I didn't know that Boreas could teleport like that I haven't seen, seen that move ever. Come on. Really? Damn, that's cool. That is really cool. Nice. Okay, uh, and more of the bombers just spawned, which is... I mean, bombers aren't, aren't really a problem. It's the little ones. Because the bombers, we can do that. It's gonna hit? No, we didn't hit? No. Okay, whatever. Let's do this again. And we're gonna do that to the right leg, maybe? Maybe it's gonna break? Nah, okay, it did so little damage. Dodge, dodge, come on. Yep, nice. There we go. Okay, we're not doing anything 
to you, this guy. Okay, it's gonna go into rage mode and it hit us. Okay. And we are also out of our potions, so let's pretty bad. Come on, bro. I pressed the torch button. Bro, how many bombers are there? <laughs> Come on. The one thing you can do with these bombers is that you, if you hit them while they're close, they're gonna explode to the behemoth. To the Boreas and the, you're gonna like mini interrupt it. It like staggers a bit, so let's set. Uh, maybe with the storm it's gonna die. Or not. Okay, whatever. But <laughs> bro, the little guy hit him, really? It also torch this up. Oh, come on. I didn't have stamina, I can. Damn. Stamina potion might be the way for this build too. I mean. Okay, that was the Boreas, and we do have some little time, so we're gonna deal with the Velamir. I don't think it's gonna be a much is much harder fight than the other ones, but I'm gonna still con just, just try to do it, right? Okay, it's all the way over there, which I don't know who's gonna wanna go to the tunnel. Maybe we can go from here. Nice, nice. And we jump from here and from that fence too, and we're gonna go do the Velamir, which is level 13. And level 13 track just found, which I mean, we already did, so it's not really like a point to go in there. Okay, here we, here, we, here we are with our last test subject, which is the level 13 Velomir. Which I think... Uh, I'm not really sure. Damn, okay. A wounding and a part break this early? Really? Damn, I was gonna say like uh, this might be our hardest fight of today, but... <laughs> I think it's gonna be the easiest one, <laughs> I think. I don't know. If we can maybe break the tail here, no, or not, okay, no. And let's shoot this here, and I think that part's broken, yep. It's already broken, and it's going to rage mode. Bro, come on, nice. Okay, let's use this. Ah, it's still, okay, it didn't go into rage mode? No, nice. okay, whatever. So with the Velomirs, when they go to rage mode, it's the basically, not the basically, but it's kind of the same with the... Dodges, nice, 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 so there we go. It's kind of the same with the Boreas one. Bro, I got hit with that particle, come on! You can, while you are in the, what's called, the inside of its domain, I would say, uh, you can interrupt it, but not not like this, because it didn't, does not have the interruptible thing right now. Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage here, so I need to heal a bit. Nice, finally. And we're out of stamina. Nice, not stamina, the potions. I was wondering why I didn't deal any damage, or like uh, wasn't fast enough. Okay, uh, I think uh, this behemoth is gonna go down. Let's see. Ten, nine, eight, six. No, bro, what? Where did I, where did seven go? Seven, six, five. Dodge this, bro! I didn't dodge that really. Come on, three, two, and bro! I went away. Get back here. Nice, there we go. It only took one ammo. <laughs> one ammo to kill this guy. Okay, so yeah, that was the Terra War Pike build for you guys. Uh, so yeah, if you want any specific, if you want any specific builds, you can, com you can comment down below and I'll make them in the future. So yeah, this has been Gorilla, and I'll see you guys next one. Peace.